Hello and welcome to the Dietra Gamecast, episode 73. I'm your host, Jeremy Matthews. Joining me as always, Jesse Simmons. What's up? Chris McAfee. Hey. And Mitchell Dene. <laughs> What's what are you saying, Jesse? What's up? Yeah, I stole it from Chris. On take like two. This is now take thirty because of Mitchell. Well, since Mitchell made us do a bunch of takes, he's gonna tell us about Call of Duty Resolution <coughs> Gate. What is it, Mitchell? Um, so for Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS4, the resolution will be ten eighty P. Makes sense. The next gen. On the seven twenty I mean sorry. Uh, the Xbox One it'll be seven twenty P. Resolution for Call of Duty Ghosts. That's not that good. No. I don't, can't really tell the difference, though, so... Uh-huh. I don't care. Yeah, it's not a huge deal to me, either. But it does imply that the Xbox One is a weaker console, specs-wise. Okay. I don't know. Well, Chris, Chris really how do you feel about that? Mm, well, I... It's not a huge deal to me. Yeah. As long as it can play games, then... It can. And yeah. look, still look good. I mean, it's as still long as it's in good. HD, I don't really care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesse, what about you? Well, as a PlayStation advocate, I'm pretty happy with this. Just maybe PlayStation will get bigger. Because everyone's like, whoa! Is this not already big? Extra pixels. Yeah, maybe it'll pass the Ouya. In yes, market share. Yeah. Great. Ouya. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Unfortunately, there's also bad news for the PS4. Yeah. Uh, it will not be able to upload videos to YouTube, as they have signed exclusive agreements with Twitch and Ustream. Oh, yeah. is, this, this is this consistent? Like for for how long? For the launch period. Well, how long is that? Nobody knows. Mm. It's like when they rocket ships. It's ten. Like seconds. when they list a bunch of games and say their launch window. It could be within a month. It could be within a year. Oh well, that sucks. Also, capture cards are not going to work apparently. So, it's going to make it hard for us. Kind of it is. But I'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in you. Thank you for your support. Now, nobody cares about that, though. What they care about are the launch games for the PS4, and we have the list. We do. Yeah, we do. So does the internet. Well, yeah, but we got also, the we do. Yeah, we got, we got, we got the internet. We are we, the internet. There you go. It's like we are the world. So there, there are going to be five first-party titles. Um, Ports of Flower and Sound Shapes. I'm uh, excited for those. Rezo Gun. Rezo Gun. Which is going to be free on PlayStation Plus. Knack, which is uh, the Mark Cerny platformer yep. where you're a robot. Saw that one yesterday. And Kill, oh, Killzone Shadowfall. More Killzone. Yep. I I've never say, played a Killzone game before. Neither have I. I bought a demo. I, heard I didn't buy a demo, I played a demo. <laughs> um, I played a demo on my Did you PS3. get the demo on the PlayStation Underground magazine? Buy it? No, I went and I was like, oh, look, Killzone. And then I played it for a little bit and I was like, this just feels I like miss those little game. demo discs. Mm, I do have to say... I used to get those two for PlayStation yeah. 2. Xbox One does have a better uh, exclusive lineup. Uh-huh. For Sony. Um, I mean, overall they do. You could definitely argue that. But in that. terms of launch window... I mean, they have better first-party games, but... Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of Sony's big studios are just made PS3 games like Quantic Dream, Naughty Dog, the Gran Turismo's coming out on the PS3. Yep. Right. Naughty Dog. So once those studios get on the PS4, it should balance out. But yeah, Killzone and Knack, I don't know. They yeah. could have really used Drive Club. Because Xbox, they have uh, Killer Instinct, Rise, mm-hmm. Dead Rising 3, Forza 5. Is Dead Rising 3 not coming out for the PS3? Nope. nope, no. Or PS4 or whatever. At I least not for a while. Yeah. Um, but the first Dead Rising never came out on other platforms. Except the Wii. Yeah. I have, I have DR2. Yeah. So we'll there are Doctor 2. Mm-hmm. There are also third-party titles, though. You got Angry Birds Star Wars. You got Assassin's Creed 4. Yep. Call of Duty Ghosts. FIFA 14. Battlefield 4. Ports of Injustice and Just Dance. Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Sweet. NBA 2K14, which looks excellent. Have you guys seen the graphics on that? It's I crazy. Don't, I don't like, uh, I played a basketball oh, I don't game either. with Cody at Future Shop. Yeah, but it looks so good. I have NBA Live 2008 on my PlayStation and it's continue pretty much to play the last to this one day. they made. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> it's a good game. I enjoy it. NBA Elite. You guys remember that? 
Uh, right. NBA Jam. Classic. NBA Jam is still relevant. Yeah, NBA Jam's great. Except it'll cheat you in the finals so hard. You're probably just bad. No. Mm. There's also indie titles yeah. like War. Would I make the finals? Warframe, the uh, free to play game, Tiny Brains, Super Mother Load, Pinball Arcade, and Contrast. Which will also be free on PlayStation Plus. Wow. Kind of cool that they're already giving out PS4 games for PlayStation Plus. Yeah, that's pretty slick. You'll notice that Games with Gold is not doing the same. No, we just don't have good games on Games with Gold. No, no, they really don't. We'll get to what they're releasing this month later in the show. But, Walking Dead Season 2 has been announced. Yep. You play as an older Clementine who uh, was the little girl in the first season. It's like a peach. Is it long enough to spoil the first one? Clementine. I'm not going to. Oh. Is Clementine a fruit? Is that a type of fruit as well? No, she's a little girl. No, but I'm saying... Yes, is it, it is. Is it all? Yeah, it is? Okay. Um, anyway, they released a short teaser trailer. It looked cool from what I saw. It's, yeah, it should be awesome. Yeah. Highly anticipated. I didn't play the first season. Our number four game of the year last year? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It's a fun one. Yeah. Command and Conquer has been cancelled, guys. Oh no. The free-to-play game. And the studio that was making it has been shut down. Victory Games? Yeah, Victory Games. <laughs> Victory Studios, even. Shut down. Potato I heard nothing but awful things about this game. Yep, so did I. <laughs> Yikes. Also, why, why would you make uh, Command and Conquer free-to-play? The fan va- base is very specifically old-school. I don't know. Mitchell, would you be interested in a free play command conquer? No. I like their older stuff. Yeah. Anyway, looks like the franchise is dead again. Wasn't there already a free to play command and conquer? I think there was. It was like a browser game. Yeah, I think yeah, there maybe. used to be. I re- heard stuff about But who that. counts browser games? Except for Cookie Clicker. I think my favorite command and oh, conquer game was Red Alert 2. Have you guys been playing Cookie Clicker? I, I it's great. that. I'm like clicking all the time, getting cookies. And then I have. Grandmas, I grandmas. Like grandmas. You have grandmas yeah. of grandmas. Yeah. I had like I had three of the Nether portals. Yeah, and then you get time galore. machines, and that's a cool one. There's also Candy Box, but I didn't play much of that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Candy. This pressure. new this new genre of games, idle games, where you just let it go and things happen. It's not a game. It's it is watching a video. It's for hardcore no. gamers only. Yeah. So you wouldn't know. Exactly. You should see how many cookies I have. I've baked like 10 billion cookies. Wow. It's enough to feed the world. You should open up a cookie store. Call it... Chewbacca. Uh Uh-huh. Because of cookies. Like Wookiees. So Command & Conquer's canceled. I got four hours of sleep yesterday. You were trying to make that work in your head there. You just kept going. I was just like, ha! (laughs) I'll just apologize. (laughs) Warner Brothers has apologized as well. Indeed. Four. Batman Arkham Origins had a lot of bugs. <laughs> yes, it did. And, you know, some games have bugs, you know, a few bugs. Uh, this game had a lot of bugs. I like GTA Online. Yes. That game had a lot of bugs. Exactly. But they're or all Or Ants yeah. the game. So in Batman, you could fall through the world. Uh, the continue option would vanish. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, there was something... I don't remember. I don't remember the other part. I was anyway. going to get that game, too. Yeah, people are annoyed. Oh, yeah. So I, might really wait. I think they fixed most of it, though. Yeah, it'd suck if you didn't yeah. have the internet, though. Who doesn't have the internet? Quite a few people. Who? I don't know. I don't know anyone who plays video games who doesn't have the internet. Rob. It doesn't make any sense. Taylor Thomas. That's not a person. <laughs> Rob Taylor Thomas. Oh, RTT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, RTT. Like R2V2. R- 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 that would be a good alias. Rob Taylor Thomas. I feel like there's an actor whose like last name is oh that's Eddie Taylor Th- no that's Eddie K Thomas. I need to get more sleep. Anyway, now South Park: The Stick of Truth has been delayed again. It's now what? coming out March the fourth. Guys, this might be the new Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, sounds like it. Well, I don't mean, know. The THQ got shut down, so it did. They have had some problems. <laughs> they definitely have had some problems. I mean, I'll give them that, right? But they haven't switched engines yet, so I guess it's not as bad as Duke Nukem. It's more like the new Alpha Protocol. Hopefully it's not the new Alpha Protocol, though, because that game had serious, serious issues. Same developers, too. But since South Park has gotten delayed, 
we have a toy that is very relevant. Jason? I have it here. What are we looking at today? We're looking at Kyle the Hyju Warrior. Elder. Elf. Elf. Oh, I got that wrong too. You say Elder? Yeah. So you see his hands move. He has the golf club in his hands. His hands move. Also, he's got the head crown, crown of thorns. His head. Also, these are still cool Exorcist. figures. Exorcist! Exorcist! Yeah. Oh, like the Exorcist. Yes. No, Ooh. like uh, the ring. Oh, the ring, yeah, I remember that. So, yeah, there's Kyle. I've never watched an episode of South Park. That's sad. You live a sad Haven't life. you n- never yeah. watched The Simpsons either? Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with you. That's, re- that's really quite bizarre. Don't what's, you watch Family Guy? What's your favorite show on TV? Uh, I don't really watch TV. Okay, never mind then. Okay, you that's watched, fair. You watched The Notebook yesterday. I did, yeah. Yeah, good movie. Well, some of it. I'm so, kinda, yes. Kind of bored. Cow. You got bored by Shadow the notebook? Cow. Yeah. Weird. Shadow Cow. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. Is that it? Do I put it back on the chair? Let's get back to news. Let's do it. Uh, Electronic Arts and Tiger Woods have split up. What? Why? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Obvious. Jesse, why? Because Tiger Woods is on a massive losing streak as of late. Did Plus, he, just, he just won a tournament recently. Yeah, but he's been on a losing streak. Like, he won... It's also because of the scandal, obviously. Yes, it's because of the scandal. It was so long ago, though. I know. I, I completely forgot about it. Actually, it's probably just sales of the game, if you think about it. Well, it's I, did, a, I think a golf they, game, though. I think so. you just want to move into a new direction. Because Tiger Woods isn't really, like, the big guy in golf anymore. No. Right? So, anyway, EA are going to make just PGA Tour games now. And Tiger Woods is in talks with another game publisher. Can they make an Annika Stor- Soren's damn game? Jesse, what publisher do you think would make new Tiger Woods games? I have no idea. I was Activision. thinking... I yeah, know. maybe Activision. Maybe 505 Games. They released a golf game from the guy with the big, like, the weird pants. Oh, um... I don't remember what his I name forget was. his name. You don't know it. No, I don't. Uh, Ricky... Ricky Fowler. No, I'll start with, like, a J or something. Janet Jackson. Yep, Janet Jackson. <laughs> Janet Jackson Golf. <laughs> it's my favorite. Well, Jesse, I'm sad to say that you will no longer be able to share pictures of Janet Jackson with your friends on the 3DS, because Spot Pass... <laughs> I don't have a 3DS. Has I don't have any disabled. pictures of Janet Jackson. Uh, those are blatant lies. <laughs> anyway, people were sharing inappropriate pictures with each 2DS. other on the 3DS. Spot Pass. You have a 2DS? No, I don't have a 2DS. I have a 3DS. 3DS. But I, I Why never would you say you had a 2DS? Because you're like, there's a blatant lie that you have a 3DS, and I'm like, I have a 2DS. But you don't have a 2DS. I have a PlayStation Vita. Ha! <laughs> Investments. Anyway, yeah, you can't send Cash. you can't send people pictures anymore on the 3DS because Nintendo wants to cater to children. Yep. So it was like Wait, surprise, so surprise. Snapchat for so yeah. they 3DS. were looking at people's pictures when they were sending them. No, they, they were got exchanging complaints. complaints. They were exchanging friend codes online. Also, they were probably looking at the pictures. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? If you're bored, you know, you sit down. Oh, what are people sending pictures of? Oh! Offensive material. Yeah. Did you drop it again? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you it's drop? I dropped it. the golf club. The golf club. That's fitting. Because Tiger Woods also should dropping drop the golf club. On EA Sports. Now. His car. The president of OUYA have said has said that big publishers coming to the OUYA is inevitable. Mitchell, do you agree? No. Why not? I don't know. I don't really care about the OUYA. You don't seem to care about anything. No. Could you talk a bit? Uh, I don't know. What is there to say about the OUYA? It's for... Why wouldn't big publishers come to the OUYA? Because it's... Well... Because it is not important. Aren't there already, like, EA games on, like, iOS and stuff? Smooth. <laughs> yeah. So they could do, like, those kind of games, but they're not exactly. going to bring, like, AAA games or anything. I w- yeah, I would say that they would definitely bring games there, just not the highest level, like Chris. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, more mobile-type games. Yeah. Like, because they already have, like, the... Uh, I think Square Enix has... Yeah, they have some Final of the Final Fantasy, Fantasy yeah. on there. Uh, Walking Dead's on there. And they have some the sports games on their tour by EA. Mm-hmm. So, Mitchell, do you have a rebuttal? Not really. The no. is dumb. Well, that's true. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So there yeah. we go. We agree with uh, Julie Ehrman. 
President Ouya. It's a cool name. That's yeah. Like now, games with gold for November. <laughs> Iron Brigade and World of Keflings will be free to Xbox Live Gold subscribers. Wow. I you guys so. are Xbox Live Gold subscribers, so am I. I you feel excited? so special. I'm not. I'm not. Don't think I am. That's why I did this. No, I don't like them. No? No. Iron no. Brigade is cool. I'm excited about that one. That's the double fine tower defense game where you ride around a mech and shoot things and plant towers. They should uh, release something Is better. it like Bloons? They should no. release more recent games. should be like Bloons. Although I have been playing a bit of Halo 3. Why? Last month. It's a little old. It's a good game still. Super little old. old. Little old. Still a good game. Halo 4 is it? Yeah. Still oh, uh, Halo Spartan Assault's coming to Xbox 360 and Xbox One in December. That's that top-down yep. thing? Yeah. So that's really like exciting. Like a convertible. Top-down. Yeah, and then World of Keflings is like a sort of tycoon game. Ooh. Cool. Where you uh, can throw your little guys I, I around. Get it. I get it. We're With masters footballs. of those. You throw what? You can throw Keflings. What are Keflings? The little is it guys. like Kevlar? No, they're little guys. Okay. I now, should have guessed. We talked about games with gold. Let's talk about PlayStation Plus. Yep. As I mentioned, PS4 games, Resogun and Contrast. Cool. You can start your library. PS3 games, Ib and Ob, which is a co-op platformer. Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. Okay. That's the, uh, that has added content to Dragon's Dogma. Mitchell, you like Dragon's Dogma, right? Yeah, I played it. Uh, it was kind of difficult and confusing, you know, with most mm -hmm. Japanese RPGs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it wasn't very uh, straightforward, um, so you really had to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. We have a video of that. Very Showcase Dragon's Dogma. Very old. Yeah. Don't and PS3 that. games also Binary Domain, starring yeah. Big Bo. Big Bo! One of the characters is named Big Bo. Big Bo. Big Bo. Actually, that's apparently a really cool game, story-wise. Big Bo. So, um... Check that out if you have PlayStation Plus. I might check it out. And in terms of Vita games, Jesse, what are we looking at? Are we looking at Soul Sacrifice, which is a game from Kaiji Inafune, who made Mega Man. Mega Man, exactly. I was about to say that. He took it from me. And uh, Odd World, Stranger's Wrath, which seemed like a pretty old game before. Yeah, it's a classic. It is. So. And now it's HD. I, I don't have PlayStation Plus though. So. Okay. Which lineup's looking better, PlayStation Plus or Xbox Games with Gold? What do you guys think? PlayStation Plus has more games. Mm-hmm. And more recent games. Mm-hmm. They always do, though. And a Kaiji and a Funi game. But you're paying the same amount. Hopefully Games with Gold gets better. It's not going to. Well, they seem to put all the big ones at the start, and then they start leaving. Yeah. Going down to indie games now. But the ga that big games happen. at the start were pretty well, old. They're already there. Yep, I'm saying that will happen. Assassin's Creed 2, yeah. Dead Rising 2, Halo yeah. 3. They're all old games. Uh, uh, what was that other one? Um, Magic the Gathering? 2013? M the G? Yeah, M crackdown. the G. M the G. No, yeah, Crackdown, yeah. That game is also very old. That game is like an really old. Xbox 360 That's the game you bought to get in the Halo 3 beta. Good times. Were they good times, Jeremy? They were. I like Crackdown. You get the agility orbs. Yeah, I can jump too. farther. Agility. I recently orbs. got the second one. Oh yeah. Is that no zombies in it? Yep. Crackdown two, Electric Boogaloo. Everything has zombies in it. Bring it back. Now Mitchell, there yeah. was a big event in downtown Vancouver recently. Yeah, that's where um, we live. Recently, Microsoft built a huge <laughs> Xbox One uh, mm -hmm. in a parking lot. It's, okay. it's ginormous. Yeah, it was quite large. Um, and then they. Uh, it, had an event going where you pledge your gamertag and email mm -hmm. to open the box. I did that. Uh, I did that too, but it was going to open anyways, even if you didn't. Yeah, they're not going to just leave it closed there. Yeah, because um, they had like a... It was it opened on 5 o'clock on Halloween, mm -hmm. so October 31st, um, and they had... Uh, so we, just I in case down. no one knows when Halloween is. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't celebrate Halloween. Yeah, I'm just saying. They Snarky. still know when it is. Snarky the dog. Uh, so I went down after Rough. school. Um, mm -hmm. and it was just uh, the oh, Xbox wow. One, like the middle part of the Xbox that opened. It was like a hatch, and inside it was just a, a bunch of TVs and Xbox Ones with uh, all the games, like all the cool. exclusive games, launch titles. Did you play the games? Uh, yeah, all of them. Uh, so my favorite one there was Rise. 
Okay, that's Son of Rome. That's pretty strange. Yeah, uh, I really I enjoyed didn't like the look of that one. It, Looking at the E three footage. Yeah, like, um, they definitely changed it up. They saw that people didn't like. Did they get rid of the quick times? They have not gotten rid of the quick times, but oh. they have made it less. This is Crytek, right? Yeah. So they definitely took what people were saying about the quick time events, mm-hmm. and they definitely toned it down hugely. Every kill was a quick time. Yeah, they which would get really annoying. Yeah, they hugely took it down. And it's so not connect only anymore, right? No. So what happens is uh, you're fighting, and you're just you know slasher, uh, mm-hmm. third person slasher, and uh, when you hit um, slasher, no slasher, uh, an enemy enough uh, times, you'll. They'll get an X uh, skull across their mm-hmm. uh, on top of their head. What's an X skull? Um, a skull with cross, cross like bones, the skull and cross um, okay. above their X head, and you can either skull. choose to uh, do a quick time event to execute mm-hmm. them if you want to do it faster, or you can continue to just hit them and kill them. Um, but if you get two two people like two enemies with a skull yep. above their head, you can do like a double quick time event. And uh, th- they did something really interesting for the quick time event. They don't show the buttons; they show the colors. Like of the of, rainbow, um, on their body. So if it's a if you're pressing Y, uh, their body will turn like yellow, like a faint oh, okay. yellow. So you have to really like watch and see, which I thought was really interesting because you know kind of seeing the button is um, it's getting kind of old. So I thought that yeah, was it takes cool, you out of the experience. Yeah, I thought that was a cool little it's interesting, uh, cool little thing they did. Uh, it, it's kind of hard too. Like um, I was finding it quite difficult uh, to play, um, but I liked it. Cool. Uh, then I played Dead Rising 3, and that was Here just like go. a 10 minute demo of you just killing zombies. Okay. Have they brought back so uh, uh, combo Dead cards? Sorry? Have they brought back combo cards from Dead Rising Can you 2? make weapons? Uh, I wasn't able to make weapons because it was just, you know, pick up weapons and kill zombies. I really hope so. That was my favorite part of Dead Rising mm-hmm. 2. Um, I, didn't, by I, didn't, far. I didn't play much of it because I got kind of bored. Because it was just a 10 minute demo of you just killing a bunch of zombies. Yeah. That's it, not ideal. There wasn't really a like a storyline or an objective you had to do, and you couldn't die in it either. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we still haven't really seen any of the big Dead Rising atmosphere. Yeah, from the uh, past games in this. Then I played Killer Instinct, mm-hmm. which looks amazing. Not the best controls, like. Okay, so we were we played this later at the Best Buy as well. Yeah, and. Uh, Mitchell was mad because Jorge beat him. No. So we started yelling about how bad it was. No. To the Xbox people. Even yeah. even while we were playing, I was saying that it was just, it's not, like, I think Mortal Kombat has a really good control scheme. Well, it's just different styles of fighters. People yeah. love Killer Instinct. I like the combo. Yeah. He was my favorite when I played on the Super Nintendo. Um, oh, and then Forza 5 was, was there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Forza 5. Cool, Forza yeah. 5 looks great. It does. It looks incredible. Um, Best looking next gen game. But I didn't, I didn't really like it that much. It was, it was different from four, all the Forza games that mm-hmm. I played on the 360. From, um, so we'll just have to get used to that. From what yeah. I saw with the demo, it had like arrows telling you like the ideal path, and I don't think I've seen that before. In There's been a lot of games, don't they? That's in every Forza game. Yeah, oh, I've just I, never noticed you that. You turn that off. Um, I turn that off. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to. Yeah, fully it was in the Need for Speed it. games for a while too. Um, we'll hear more about that from Hori next week. Yeah, it definitely looks good. It's just a. Even Jorge was having was saying that it wasn't yeah. the greatest uh, controls, and then uh, yeah, very cool. Uh, oh yeah, and I want to talk about the controller. The I don't like the bumpers. Yeah, they don't um, press down at the top. No, yeah, it's more like kind of like I can see if you're like casually holding the controller and mm-hmm. you just want to press it on the side. But I, I'm someone who has like large hands and I like to grip the controller. And can I, I see? And I press down. <laughs> Look at my hands. I pressed down with uh, my fingers on top, so uh, that was I was finding that was uh, difficult. So I had to kind of like put my hands down, like my mm-hmm. fingers down, to press it on the sides because oh, otherwise do that. it wouldn't work. Um, but uh, and the, and the sticks are a lot smaller too. Mm-hmm. But I I think uh, it helps because when you're playing games on the 360 controller, the the stick is very large and it's kind of like a little sure. uh, heavier. So when you're pushing it constantly. Uh, it does kind of hurt my thumb sometimes. So I think with the smaller ones, it'll be a lot easier to move around and everything. Very cool. Yeah. It's kind of boxier, too. Yeah. Does it have the same feel as the 360 controller? No. 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 Oh, I like that. Oh, I like I like the 360 controller and how it feels. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I definitely have to say that I love the con- like 360 controller over the Sony controller. It's so, it feels it fits your hands so much better. Yeah, but the DualShock 4 is a lot different. Yeah. It feels good. 
Anyway. Is the DualShock 4 going to have the same uh, triggers as the DualShock 3? No, they're uh, kind of curved up a bit, so they're they're kind of like a combo between the 360 triggers and the PS3 triggers. That's okay. what I didn't like about the PS3 also. Yeah. Is that it, so, you're, it, so your fingers don't really slip off the R2 uh, and L2 anymore? Yeah, that's what I found yeah. all the time. That's why I didn't like the Sony, because if you're like shooting or something, yeah. or pressing the gas on a car, it's just like, it, sometimes it'll like just kind of feels like it could fall off. Yeah. Well, usually in shooting games for PS3, you use the bumpers as the trigger instead of the... Yeah, some, yeah R1, L1. Yeah. You can shoot a lot faster, but... Yeah, that's it why I like the weird. triggers mm. for the Xbox because it was curved up, so it was like kind of you could rest your fa- your fingers yeah. there. Uh, the DualShock Four out in stores apparently, along with a bunch of the games, mm. if you want, and you can use it on the PS3. So, interesting. If you want to test it out, now Mitchell. Yeah. It's all the video game news, but we want to talk about your schooling in game design school. Okay. What's happening this week? Uh, well, for uh, game design, I had. Of course, to write uh, that uh, paper on uh, Settlers of Catan and okay. all the mechanics about yeah. it. Yeah! Um, so this Settlers. week, uh, we uh, we each group had made a, a game, like a card sure. game. So we had to use the cards and make up a little game like what that. What was your card game called? Um, we didn't have a name. We just, just like It was kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. So we have a mm-hmm. card, uh, card controller, so you see. Jesse, you're good at names. Ideas? <coughs> um, Banshee. Um, Forget it. You're not good at names. So uh, we got I forgot into, what a banshee was. We got into different groups with uh, one person from each group that had made a game, and then so now we have to create like a, a kind of a box to hold the cards. Mm-hmm. So it has to look kind of professional. So we're doing that, um, and then uh, I learned in uh, how to um, upload images, like how long it would take to upload an, an image if it's like sure. a color or not, and uh, what how to do that exactly, like how long it would take uh, with the size of a file. Um, yeah, that's mostly it. And then, you know, s- scripting and uh, color theory and history of games, just writing Color essays. theory? Yeah, color theory. It's just learning how um, colors mix with each other. And uh, Didn't we learn that in kindergarten? Ooh. Yeah, but this is a more... How do, what do yellow and red make? Yellow and red? Yeah. Um, when you combine them. Orange. What do blue and white the <laughs> Jesse color. needs to take color theory. <laughs> I couldn't think of a fourth color. <laughs> what are the primaries? Are the primaries red, blue, and yellow? Beige. Red, no. blue, yellow. Yeah, it's yeah. red, blue, yellow. It's not beige. It's beige. It's burnt sienna, beige, and topaz. Those are my primary Aquamarine. colors. Aquamarine. Yeah, color theory isn't the greatest class, but you know you have to learn it. Um, yeah, you got you got to know your colors. Yeah. It's just really easy. It's just coloring. And then, you know, now that you know, now that you know just colors, a coloring book. Yeah. maybe you can make a logo for the website yeah. using all your color theory. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Can yeah. you, uh, do you have coloring books in your class? I really want that to happen. No, it's paint. We're using paint. They're, They're called just... paint books. <laughs> I choose not to draw in between the lines because I'm different. <laughs> paint is expensive. You are different. That's true, it is. It's very expensive. It is. Now, not MS paint. We have bonus news. Excited. Bonus news. Bonus news. Bonus news. Bonus news. Jesse, what is our bonus news? Uh, the ending to the game Dark Matter is enraging fans. Mm-hmm. Because Dark Matter? At, in the middle of gameplay, uh, you are just shown an abrupt ending, and many people are thinking that the game was released without it being finished. Oh, yeah. Was, I yeah. heard about that. They, they started a Kickstarter, but they didn't get enough money. Yeah. And so, so they just cut off the game midway through. Yeah. I heard How lazy that. can you be to just end something? Lazy. Yeah, no no proper ending, just cut off random.